Hey everyone, I'm back today with another quick tip. Now today I want to discuss some of the basic differences between a luminosity mask and using blend if. We're going to go over those two things briefly as well, but mostly we're going to try to compare and contrast why you might want to use one over the other. And it's not necessarily that one is better than the other. It's just that they're different. Okay, so let's talk about that for a minute. Now, what is a luminosity mask? Well, we've made one already. I have a red layer. When I turn that red layer on, you see that the red is only in certain places. And that's because if I hold down Alter Option and look at the mask in question, I have the shadows sort of masked or preferred, if you will, in this mask. You can see the white areas are the areas of the mask that are going to show the layer and the black areas, you know, hide the layer, right? So the red that we've chosen just for demo purposes shows only on those areas. So you see it's red. Now above it, I have another red layer. So you look at this one, this is the luminosity mask one. Now we turn this one on and it's almost identical. And that is done with the same red adjustment layer, but with blend if. You double click the right side of the layer, all the layer style options come on. We're not gonna go into more details about a lot of blend if stuff, but we're gonna talk about how this down here, the very bottom option, underlying layer. We can see that I have the basic same setup as a luminosity mask. I have the shadows preferred. It blends up until the halfway point, okay? And we have the basic same result. Now you may not ever need to make your shadows up to the mids bright red like this, but you have the basic idea that they're the same. So people have asked me before, if I get the same result, why would I want one over the other? And then some people even take that to a step further and say, hey, on a, on a blend if, I can move this node and keep it flexible at all times. I can change the range. I can tighten up the range to the deeper shadows. I can widen it. I can completely change the range to something else. Therefore, blend if is superior. You know what? You'd get a pretty strong argument for that, except that here's the difference, okay? Now, before I say this, I wanna make it clear once again, neither one of these methods, for at least this purpose anyway, neither one of these methods are superior to each other. They're just different. But if we look at it like this, this is what I want to explain. A luminosity mask versus a blend if. The core difference is that a luminosity mask is raster data. It's pixels. They're there. They're um, tangible, for lack of a better term. That is the range you get. And you can modify the range a little, like with levels, but it's a very destructive thing. If you really brighten them hard or darken them hard, you can't really bring them back. Um, it's not exactly flexible. Sometimes that's a benefit. Now, the blend if is an instruction. It is not tangible, if you will, raster data. It's not pixels. It is an instruction. It is just a set of parameters that tell Photoshop to do something. But what it does is it pays attention to the luminosity of the underlying layer, in this case, underlying layer, because that's the sliders that we're using. And then it applies the layer in question to that luminosity. What does that mean? Well, if I put a curves or any other exposure modification layer underneath the blend if layer, for example, if I brighten and darken, I change the range. It moves now because the instructions of the blend if are telling that layer blend if <laughs> certain luminosities match the parameters. So you see we're changing that radically. Okay. If I turn that off and I take the same curves and put it below the luminosity mask, when I brighten and darken, the range does not change. See that? Because those are fixed pixels. So that is the core difference right there, that the luminosity mask, it will stay exactly on the range that you set it to, whether it's a bright red <laughs> layer like this or some other function, a brightening function, a color grading function, for example. Um, it does not move. But when you put it on the other one, the blend if function, then the range changes radically. And this once again has to do with our video from a few days ago, talking about layer order and how important it is. Not just the layer order, of course, but in this case, the type of layer that you're using. So keep that in mind. I'm going to review that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete the curves. A luminosity mask, which you make in lots of different ways. We have videos about that too. A luminosity mask can, you know, mask out a specific luminosity range, whether it's the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, or some other variation. Okay. And those pixels, because it's a mask, those pixels do not change. So no matter what you do underneath it, like a curves, that range does not change. Okay. However, when you use a blend if, now that's instructional. 
especially in the way this one's set up, which is to mimic what the loom mask is doing on the other one. It's on the underlying layer, same basic range, but that's set of instructions. So when you brighten and darken, it says, well, I'm getting different luminosity ranges, so I will change where the red shows up. Okay, so again, not one better or worse than the other, just different. Blend diff has a lot of other functions too. It's not just for you know masking out a luminosity range. But the question I get most of the time is when I am masking out a luminosity range, why would I want an actual luminosity mask versus a blend diff? And that's a great question. So I want to talk about that a little bit today. If you have any other questions or suggestions that you want to see tips on, let me know. I hope that one does help a little bit. Keep in mind the, the takeaway you know, sort of idea is blend diff is a set of instructions. And uh, of course, luminosity mass is pixels. It's actual data. So it's hard. It's fixed. It does not change. So I hope that helps. Any other questions, let me know or email me at bp at ninobatista.com. Thanks again, guys. Mm -hmm.